Some students at MIT have perfected a device called Ristify, which would essentially cool and heat the body, replacing air conditioning, which is great considering how much air conditioning we use. It, you, it's in the US, 87% of households uh, use AC as of 2010, mm -hmm. which is 11% compared to 11% in Brazil and 2% in India. As the world becomes more prosperous, we're going to be wanting more climate controlled rooms. Uh, which wastes, not waste, it uses a lot of electricity. Right now, 16.5% of electricity in the U.S. is used for air conditioning units. That's the statistic that blew my mind the most. That's it's a lot. It's such a large percentage. And that's like not just during the summer months, that's year long. Yeah. Our, all the energy we use in the U.S. in a year, 16.5% of it is for air conditioning. Well, the students at MIT wanted to come up with a cheaper solution to, to combat this. Actually, one of the students spent time with his mother. His mother's always cold. He's always hot. There's always an argument. I'm sure you can relate to that. We certainly can. So what he decided to do is he, he looked up physiology papers. And he discovered one principle where if you introduce small pulses of heat or cold, it would be able to make the body feel like it is a different different temperature and mm -hmm. be okay with it. Now, you know like when you jump in a, in a pool and you're cold and you're shocked, but you get used to it. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's the opposite of what they're trying to do. What it is is <laughs> because you get used to it, you're just gonna want more and more like a monster. So what they wanna do is it, it introduces seconds of cold stops and then it'll, it'll stop for like a minute and then it'll come back with more cold. So you're not used to it and your, your body is fooled into thinking that it's cooler than it is or warmer than it is depending on which, which problem you are experiencing. So this is the exact same principle of when you're in bed under the covers and you stick just your foot out and somehow that's the perfect temperature. <laughs> kind of? Yes. <laughs> it's like all I need to do is cool down my left foot and ankle and then now I am comfortable. Well this principle is only on the wrist. Same thing. Yeah, right now it's just a cheap Rolex watch band, fake Rolex. Folex, yeah. Folex, if, if you will. And it actually ended up winning the Mad Mech, an annual competition at MIT's Material Science and Engineering program, and they won a $10,000 prize for it. Now, do Pretty they have great. any intention to kind of mass produce or manufacture it's these? It's still in the early stages, but um, they, they've guessed that it costs about $50 with off-the-shelf uh, materials. It could be lowered if they put it into mass production, if they ended up uh, creating it for, for mass use, consumer electronics. But so far they haven't like re re released their specs to, so you can make your own. No, not yet. It's, it's still their invention. So you still have to use air conditioning? For, for now. Sorry. But there is a cheaper alternative on the horizons, which is the exciting part. Would you wear a watch that cooled you? Fuck yes, I would. Oh, you're asking the audience. The come, yeah, I know what you <laughs> want. I want them to say it. Okay. Jesus, Kim.